Making our website responsive is going to be really important these days with the web and the way that it is. A lot of people are accessing your website on mobile devices and it just has to look right on a mobile device. Uh, so right now our website it's not responsive. Some of the images are responding but we ultimately want all of our elements to stack properly. Whenever we hit a certain point, a certain width of our screen, we want the elements to actually get some additional styling added to them. And this is what we were talking about earlier when we were looking at the min width. Uh, whenever it's a minimum width that we have something happen, well we're doing it the other way and we're using max width this time. So the key here is the media and only screen and uh, this is where we set max width and this is where we're going to look for a breaking point that we want something once it hits this max width we want something else to happen uh, so maybe for now what we're going to do is we'll just update this main content area so that the one that we set to white uh, let's set that to the container area so let's set that to red whenever we hit or green so that it really stands out so we can see that whenever we hit a uh, certain width we see that it all goes green uh, so whenever we're below this breaking point it goes green and I'm going to just show you over here as well it's really important to understand how this is all working uh, so I, within Chrome we do have the ability to uh, to simulate different size screens here uh, and that's just by clicking this toggle device toolbar and we can sim simulate an iPhone, we can simulate Nexus, Galaxy and so on. So these are the default widths that are available as well as we can customize uh, the responsive size. So we see that whenever we get below 700 that's when the new styling is going to take effect and this is where ultimately we want to move this content uh, our side menu underneath our main content area. So we want these to once again take 100% available width and uh, remove the floating from it and then shift that right below it. And this is uh, where we've got within that container area. So let's go back over to our sidebar, back over to our, our content and we're only going to use the styling that we actually want to update. Uh, so we've got float and in content we have float uh, left so we're going to change that to float none and we're going to update width to 100 percent so we're going to do the same thing over here update this to float none and we don't have to worry about the background color we don't have to worry about the padding because these can just propagate from the previous version so let's take another look at this and see what happens now so we see now whenever we shrink below 700 picks they actually stack and this is in line with our original design here. Uh, so one last thing here is that whenever we're resizing everything else looks good but this menu is really messed up. Uh, so there are a number of ways to handle this and in the next lesson I'm going to show you how to do that, how to make a responsive menu. So that's coming up.